<laughs> we're just, uh, I think we're about two or three feet off the ground and we're just cruising around like basically an RC car. This is probably the lowest I've ever flown any plane ever. And this is fun. I like flying this, like, like this style. This is actually pretty cool. Look at that go. What do you think of this, Abby? It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I'm having a good time flying this. We're at the airfield with the E-Flight UMX Timber. I knew the Timber existed, a uh, much larger version, but this is a plane that comes in a box. The UMX little guys in the big box. So you just get it out, bind it up to your transmitter, and put it in the air. You can probably hear it. Auto flight stabilization has AS3X on. You can throw a switch and turn that off, just like the little A10 that we did. And yeah, this should be really easy to fly with these big bush wheels. We can land and take off on our grass field, believe it or not. And it has a brushless motor in here with lights installed all over this puppy. Now you'll notice we're flying on a 2S battery. This is, we've been, and you can probably see some nicks and scratches on here. A good friend of ours, Tyler at the field, is letting us fly this for the channel. Wanted to show you guys a quick little, Abby's waving in the shadow. Just wanted to show you guys a quick fly to this. The LEDs on here are super bright. Navigation lights all over, doing some nice slow blinking. It looks really good. We even have some lights up front here behind the prop. Very cool. Let's fly. Now, believe it or not, this has, it's a five channel setup with the flight stabilization and those lights, so you could kind of almost say six channels. Uh, but we have flaps on here. So I'm gonna do half flaps on the takeoff. You, and... you don't have to hand launch this? No. What? Check it out. Oh yeah, baby. Flaps are, uh, there we go. They're up. <laughs> He's got his switches, I think opposite of mine, but they're, they're up now. And this is amazing. Yeah, so I'm pretty much hands-free. He's got it bound up to his spectrum. And look at that, nice slow flyby. Oh my goodness. What a beautiful plane. This will look good at night too with those lights on there. You know, I'm really falling in love with these little UMX planes. They are just so easy to get in the air and just kind of, this one, puts around a little bit. Really a pretty little plane. You want me to keep it above the tree line? Sure. Okay. And I think we can do some maneuvers and stuff with this too, but I am just gonna fly it nice and slow and low. A little bit true to scale. Let's hit those flaps. We're at half flaps and full flaps feels pretty good. Let's do a nice, super slow flyby. I think we can dead stick hover this in no wind. How slow can we get it to go, Abby? Oh my goodness, look how slow it's gone. We're flying a drone. Full throttle. Let's climb right up. <laughs> what an easy to fly plane. You know, the Timber has been a great plane and now to have it in this little tiny UMX style. Look at that, look how slow we're going. Pretty cool. If you like flying slow and scale and kind of like a stall plane, you know, they have those stall contests, S-T-O-L. Um, what does that stand for? Something short takeoff or landing, right? Is that it? That's kind of what this is. I mean, we could we could do a, well, how fast do you think we could land this? Probably in one or two feet and we'll take off again with those full flaps. Let's see, let's do it. Even on grass, look at those nav lights. They look really good. Do a little touch and go. Oh yeah, that was nice. Basic little plane, but it's actually super advanced, keeping it really nice and stable. Wow, I like that a lot. Okay, let's take those flaps off, climb, and see if we can do rolls. I'm not sure what flight mode we're in. Okay, no rolls on that, so let's kick the flight mode. No, oh, we may not have it set up to where we can take it off of this beginner flight mode, I'm not able to get it upside down. So could be the way he has it set up in his transmitter. I'm actually using my buddy's transmitter and everything to do this right now. So we're just gonna enjoy it at this nice, calm AS3X safe flight mode, enjoying the scale, beautiful look at this plane. I wanna bring it in a little bit closer. Little plane. This is what I was talking about. You guys remember, look look how low and slow we're going to the ground. You remember um, with the, what plane did we just fly at the Vinton County Airport? The Trojan T-28. Thank you. I said we have to keep it kind of high in the sky because if we stall on that plane, you have to have enough room for cushion uh, to save it. Well, this plane is so tiny, I would say this is enough room for cushion to save it. <laughs> you know, we're just, uh, I think we're about two or three feet off the ground and we're just cruising around like basically an RC car. This is probably the lowest I've ever flown any plane ever. 
And this is fun. I like flying this, like, like this style. This is actually pretty cool. Look at that go. What do you think of this, Abby? It's pretty cool. It is pretty cool. I'm having a good time flying this. Well, everybody in the comments say, thanks, Tyler, for letting us fly the little baby UMX Timber. This is a sweet setup. Highly recommend this. Look at that. And with those flaps, we can just slow it way down, way down. Oh, I can turn on a dime. Jeez, you can. Yeah. Who needs an airfield? I could fly this in my front yard. Yeah, you don't need an air airfield with us. No, you do not. And it's so lightweight. So lightweight, you guys. Very cool. This, this I like, I think, more than the uh, A-10, just because, I don't know, the A-10, you know, you do need some big space for that. It's a fast flyer. This is pretty cool to just keep it so close and low and slow. Really having a good time with this. But I don't think the battery's gonna last too super long, so. Let's bring it in for a landing. Oh, I just wish it, I wish we could roll it over. <laughs> I'm sure we can, we just don't have it set up right in the transmitter right now. And I didn't need that much room for a landing, but we're gonna do it anyway. You just have to do something with the pine plug, right? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, I'm sure if we sat down with it for a few minutes, look at that go, Abby. Just rolling along in the grass. Man, this is cool. I don't want to put it down. You better, five minutes. Yeah, okay, let's put it down. Batteries. Nice and easy. There we go. Beautiful landing, beautiful plane. Well, that was actually way more fun to fly than I thought it would be. I had a really good time flying that low and slow. That style is just really cool for something like this. And as the sun goes down, those lights are gonna stand out a lot better. I love that slow blink on top of the plane. Here on the wingtip, we've got our red with a blinking white nav light. Should be green over here with white blinking light. I could catch glimpses of those lights through the prop as I was flying. That is just awesome. Very cool. Oh look, we've got a slow blinking light on the bottom too. Hey, one of the slowest flying planes I've ever had my hands on and that's actually pretty cool. I think this was flying even slower than my crop duster we flew. But again, no wind, so it was just perfect for today. With that AS3X stabilization, if we did get gusts of wind, you can hear it. We're doing its thing, it's working hard to keep that plane level. Two giant thumbs up in my book. We'll have it linked in the description box below. You need to add this one to your collection. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.